Hey guys, just wanted to do an update video of my replay of the 1985 New York Mets uh, using Replay Baseball. Uh, I did a couple of videos in the past, you know, doing an unboxing video, but if you're not familiar with this game, um, it's kind of like, if you ever played APA, I've never played APA, but it's kind of like in the, in the same lines of that. Uh, I bought this game about a year ago. Um, you know, I saw I played. You know, I have like you know Stratomatic, uh, Pure Pitch, History Maker Baseball. I know I have pretty much a lot. I, I don't really, didn't really need another baseball game, but um, I, I, I had finished Inside Pitch. I did a 1981 New York Mets replay, so you know I wanted to you know switch it up and try a different game. So uh, basically, uh, the, way, the, the way this game is set up, you know, you roll your dice. Every, the batter results are found on this, on the chart over here. And I made other videos going into details about, you know, what you get. Um, but just what a quick video about my 1985 replay with the New York Mets. Um, so basically, what I do is I make this this chart in um, kind of like an Excel. Um, it's, it's not really, the program's not Excel, I think it's called Numbers because I, I don't have Excel on my MacBook. So it's kind of like a similar program like uh, Excel. Um, but I make this chart right here and um, over, he over here I kind of have like what happened in real life. I get all this from like a copy and paste from uh, BaseballReference.com and you know over here is kind of what happened in real life. So you got the date, you know, who they played, the score, the pitcher, that won or loss. And then uh, over here is like I write in pencil my uh, what happened in my replay, and I also have stats. I keep stats. You know, I have a, um, a file on my computer with you know player stats, you know, batting, pitching, and um, and I also are I'm using fast score baseball. I'm using uh, this to play out the uh, the other games of the National League. Uh, only National League. I'm not doing. I'm not messing around with American League. So, and then, you know, and so I can, you know, fast score of getting just the scores for the other games. Uh, so right now, um, I am at game 39, and in real life, uh, the Mets were uh, 24 wins and 15 losses, and my replay, we're at 22 wins and 17 losses. So uh, I'm just two games... They're just the, the in real life they were two games better than what I'm playing, but the records are kind of similar, which is which is amazing. Um, so last game I'm actually was uh, Sid Fernandez pitched, and it was against the the, the Dodgers, and he pitched a no hitter, and I was like, I mean that was really like it was, the Mets won three nothing, and uh, this is the first time I got a no hitter in this game, which was of all people you know uh, for, uh, Sid Fernandez, um, you know Gooden's been doing good. Um, you know, good in one game before, you know, one nothing. Uh, so far, I'm, I mean, I'm in a, I've won, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five games in a row. So doing, doing pretty good. Um, I mean, in the beginning of the season, you know, I was, I was kind of like not as doing good as, as if they were doing in real life when I was comparing the, uh, the records. Uh, but right now it looks like, you know, I'm starting to pick up more wins. Uh, so basically, you know, when I, when I set everything up, I, I um, go to baseballreference.com. I mean, you could do baseballreference.com. I think there's also like you know baseball almanac or uh, retro street street or something. You know, just go online and you could get the you know. So I do I do lineup as as is. So I use the uh, this is the this is my favorite uh, score sheet. Uh, this is from uh, Replay, uh, their website. You can go to it's 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 free. Uh, you have to it's like there's like a a tab that says like freebies and stuff, and you click the baseball stuff and. You have to really search for it because it's kind of like hard to find. But um, this is my favorite uh, score sheet because I do. I, I feel like there's a lot. There's a, a lot of space here to write the results, and you can keep track at the end the uh, you know what, the totals of you know at bats and hits. And then on the bottom here, you can write the uh, player ratings here, their position and stuff. So that's helpful. The only negative thing, I bet, and I don't know, a lot of these score sheets. Especially if you're playing National League, there's not enough space here for pinch hitting. So sometimes I'll just have to like draw like a line across here. So that's I kind of try to keep my um my my starting pitchers at least have them go six or, or the seventh inning and not mess with a lot of um, pinch hitters because 
Again, there's not a lot of space. I mean, I guess you could write it on the bottom here, but um, so basically, yeah, I'll go to baseballreference.com and I'll uh, write the score sheet as is, and then I'll um, then I'll write down like you know the pitchers that pitched in this game. So if if I have to do a pitching switch or something, I'll pick the right pitchers that actually pitched during that game. Um, so if this you know Ron Darling, like Ron Darling pitched pitched the whole game. Um, so I'll try to keep him in as much as I can, and then I'll have to make my own judgment of, of who to bring in um, if I need to take him out. Uh, so I, I just have the game play as is, you know, um, and that's that's it. Uh, and so it's a pretty good game. Uh, it's an expensive game, <laughs> but uh, I, I've been enjoying it and just trying to get, you know, this replay, uh, trying to get the games in and, and uh, see where it goes.